The Bubble, Judd Apatow's comedy about a group of actors filming in quarantine during the COVID-19 pandemic, is out on Netflix now. It features an A-list cast, including Karen Gillan, Pedro Pascal and more, with a swathe of Leonardo DiCaprio meme-inducing moments, as these actors reunite to film the latest in their hit franchise, Cliff Beasts. Producer on this? Uncredited, but everybody knows. With many actors in the bubble, having already been part of major real-life franchises, such as Karen Gillan portraying Nebula in the MCU and Pedro Pascal playing Din Djarin in Star Wars The Mandalorian, the Judd Apatow-directed comedy continuously draws from real-life experiences of the behind-the-scenes politics of franchise productions. Not only does Apatow focus on mocking franchises and the hierarchy of film production, but he also incorporates the real-life experiences of trying to make a film at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. I miss you so much, Mommy. Oh, I'm not your mommy yet, Layla, but I will be your stepmom one day and it's gonna be the best. When actors were confined to lengthy stays exclusively in their hotel rooms and set. The Bubble is essentially Judd Apatow's COVID-19 version of Tropic Thunder, with the parodies of filmmaking amidst daunting conditions wreaking havoc on the characters until the movie's final moments. As soon as we wrap, mm. I'm gonna punch you both in the jaw. The end of the bubble sees the cast of Cliff Beast 6 narrowly escape the production bubble, with Carol, Gillen, Dieter, actor Pedro Pascal, Crystal, Iris Apatow, Sean, Keegan-Michael Key, and Dustin, David Duchovny, chartering the movie's helicopter away from the hotel. Cast of Cliff Beast 6 Since production for Cliff Beast 6 hadn't finished by the time the cast abandoned their contracts and escaped their London hotel, it doesn't appear that the sequel was ever completed. Instead, the studio used the behind-the-scenes footage shot by Scott, Cliff Beast 6's EPK guy, to create a documentary on the chaotic making of the franchise movie titled Beasts of the Bubble. The ending of the bubble picks up two years after the events of the filming of Cliff Beast 6, seeing the cast, production crew, and hotel employees walk the red carpet for the premiere of the documentary. Together. Since the Bubble studio found more buzz and success for the documentary about making the fictional Cliff Beast 6, it seems the actual franchise film was never made. While the Bubble takes jabs at almost every major franchise including Jaws, Alien, and Mission, Impossible, the 2022 Netflix movie most frequently parodies Jurassic Park. The reason for its focus on Jurassic Park is based on Judd Apatow initially being inspired to write the Bubbles story when he read about the chaotic London production bubble of Jurassic World, Dominion in late 2020. As such, it's no surprise that he concluded the film with an apt nod to the iconic ending of Steven Spielberg's 1993 Jurassic Park movie. Mr. Best! At the end of the bubble, the cast of Cliff Beast 6 is attempting to escape the prison-like confinement of the production bubble, so the actors band together and fight the directors and producers before boarding a helicopter. Sean's quick helicopter flying lessons come in handy for the characters in Netflix's April 2022 movie, as they fly away over the hotel with the Netflix movie focusing on the helicopter flying away before the film cuts to black. As soon as you can make it on the set, that'd be great. This is a direct parallel to the end of Jurassic Park, which saw the characters escaping the dangerous confines of the title location in the helicopter, with the closing scene depicting the helicopter flying over the ocean and back to safety. For the bubble, Jurassic Park's killer dinosaurs essentially equate to the studio, security, and production staff, with the scientists correlating to Cliff Beast 6's cast. And you don't have to do for the rest of my working day, I've got to run. While the bubble tries to be relatable to the everyday struggles of people at home during the pandemic, Judd Apatow's movie also derives much of its humor from mocking the cast of Cliff Beast 6 for complaining about their circumstances when they're in an extremely privileged place. Even though they can't leave the hotel, they get room service, drinks, high-end amenities, and even private concerts from singers like Beck to keep them on track. Either way, the bubble's notion of the restrictions of quarantine and how the circumstances can drive people crazy are fairly approachable to viewers at home, which gives audiences a kick out of how badly things could have been, such as how the hand of Leslie Mann's character is shot off when she tries to break quarantine. Backs. Your hands are so cold. What's going on in the back, sir? With the title of the Bubbles documentary being Beasts of the Bubble, it's clear that the ending of Apatow's Netflix movie is poking fun at how many people turned into beasts due to the maddening side effects of quarantine restrictions. 
While the bubble tries to be relatable to the everyday struggles of people at home during the pandemic, Judd Apatow's movie also derives much of its humor from mocking the cast of Cliff Beast 6 for complaining about their circumstances when they're in an extremely privileged place. Until I say we're done. 